commissioners in Lexington are issuing a call to action for residents after a delegate who lives on the other side of the Commonwealth introduced a le legislation aimed at short term rentals in the city. 10 News anchor Brittany McGraw talked with the mayor about why this is raising big concerns. There's a battle brewing between the city of Lexington. It has the smell of being a very political act and a state delegate who represents Virginia Beach and Chesapeake. Because we're not aware of any connection that um, Delegate Knight has to Lexington. Over legislation, Delegate Barry Knight introduced this month. Here's a look at House Bill 824, which specifically targets short-term rentals in the city of Lexington that Delegate Knight is backing. Mayor Frank Friedman says the bill tries to call into question the city's rules. Is the idea that um, one delegate in another part of the state would amend an ordinance uh, across the state um, seems to, to be an extreme um, act. City leaders say they haven't talked with Knight. 10 News also reached out to his office several times. Hey, my name is Brittany McGraw. I work with WSLS. And have yet to get a response. And it seems that if we were uh, a, a foul of state code, the attorney general would contact us and um, confront us on uh, not conforming with the state code instead of a legislative action. The Virginia Realtors Association also backs the bill, saying, simply put, the city of Lexington passed a short term rental ordinance that violates state law in a number of different ways including how it defines a short-term rental and by requiring people who operate short-term rentals to get a business license. Mayor Friedman says their ordinance is legal and they hope to meet soon with those involved with this legislation. In Lexington, I'm Brittany McGraw, 10 News, working for you.